weapon and we're just going to switch to our ranged weapon and then um there we go shoot that isn't that fun uh i just thought that was like so cool because it like that's just like the kind of perfect environmental design but this time around um and you'll have to you know forgive me i i you know th this is like basically the only thing i did in early access but i can do things slightly differently is i'd like to see if maybe since we have a rogue right now why don't we try and open this door um performance yes it's me let me in we're doing this as a Asterian, and he is quite the performer. Nice. Uh, we'll have Shadowheart lead. <laughs> no, I'm quite alive, actually. All right, so we're going to move to behind this guy and then cunning action hide. Can't be threatened. Oh, I see we're in his threatened range. Shoot, I could have, like, given him a wider gap here. Piercing strike. Deal regular damage and possibly inflict gaping wounds. Let's do that. Why not? And we'll make an offhand melee attack as well. They saved against it. Still, we're doing some nice damage. I've never played as a rogue. I've never had a rogue in any of my games. Um, one of the frustrating things for me with uh, Solasta is that you basically are required to have a rogue for various things. So they're surprised they don't get a turn. Um, but, you know, maybe maybe it's time I give them a go, you know? topple knock them prone only a 45 percent chance this is a 45 percent chance this is a 65 percent chance i'd rather go for the, the for sure thing the the slightly for sure thing you know we'll do um well let's let's have a look 55 percent chance versus sacred flame which is a 40 percent chance Okay, so I don't know. Let's do a concussive smash. Nice. Perhaps our survival isn't such a distant prospect. Bandit's key. Um, I wonder. Toggle group. Toggle hide. There we go. Everyone hide. Sticking to the shadows makes you harder to detect. Your cursor indicates the amount of light in a certain spot. Ah, that's kind of cool. I like that. I mean, very, uh, very, like, it, it just makes sense, but it, I've seen, we've seen this before a few times. So we're slightly obscured right now. Plague, looter's trunk, we'll have a look. Money, cup plate glass chalice supply pack we'll definitely grab that we're gonna grab the food we're gonna grab all the food because it's good for um it, you know it means long resting isn't gonna be so costly <laughs> i'm hearing i'm hearing people i would like to stop moving all the way around the table to grab cheese We've got some crates. And funny how they don't show up when I hold down alt. So alt isn't like the end all be all. We have a quill. That's not much good. We have a plate. Candles. Can we put out the campfire actually? Nice. I don't know if that helps. 
So we definitely have someone over there. So let's uh let's just leave that for now. Cutting board. We have a crate. I feel a presence here. A power. Oh yeah. Patron god of this place. Whoever that even is. No intact symbols here. No dedications. Nothing. Wonder if we have any scrolls. Oh, wait a minute. Death and Divinity, a godly guide. Send that to Tav. We'll read that later. Or maybe I'll just read that to myself. Curse of the Vampire. Okay. Let's, um, let's move on to over here. Um... Gonna unchain Asterion. Gonna have him wait here and try and do a sneak attack in case they come barging through. Um, maybe Gale, we send there. Tav, go here. Yeah, that's, that's good. So Shadowheart, you're gonna open the door. Oh my. We've got an oil barrel. We don't have a ranged weapon. Um, Gale, can you do like a nice firebolt? Nice. So this is a lightly obscured. Um, so this guy is almost dead. We already got our starting action as a uh, Gale. So we're just going to like move over here. And end our turn. Nice. Miss. Okay, Tav. Blade Ward. They have a club, so Blade Ward actually does help. That's a cantrip, so it would it would be it would be alright. Last for two turns throw kind of want to like try and trip someone um i just realized that tab doesn't really have a weapon like at all okay we'll have to fix that for now um command to command Flee, move closer, freeze, drop to the ground, or drop its weapon. Let's do, um, let's just do a smack attack. We missed. Damn, they, they were so close to dying. Alright, we're gonna do, um, Sacred Flame. 36%, oh, that was a mistake, but it worked out, I guess. Uh, this guy is almost at full health. We're gonna I'm gonna move wait. Are we we are Gale right now? I thought it was um, Asterion We're just gonna try and kill this guy so he doesn't get a turn Cool we'll Move forward a little bit so that Asterion can uh, move Ow Ow. So it's going to be hard to do a sneak attack on them now. Do a sacred flame. No target. Can't do it. Not enough movement. 
Um. Hmm. Inflict wounds. You are an ally cannot be targeted until you you attack or harm a creature. Can still take damage. This is a bonus action. I feel like doing a buff wouldn't be a bad idea. Can't tell if this is a um, cantrip. Doesn't say. Seemed to be uh, nothing, like not a cantrip or anything. Didn't even count as a bonus action. Not sure what that was. We'll do uh, Sanctuary on ourselves. Oh, that was a level one spell. I didn't mean to do that. Shoot. That's fine. We, ha we have to use him occasionally. Okay, we're going to run over here and try and distract them by attacking them. Nice. Shove. Nice. It's just funny, honestly. Seventy percent. Not not a lot of damage, but you know enough. Critical miss. Okay, she's kind of doing my work for me, except um, she did see uh, Asterion. I just realized he hasn't actually been in the combat this whole time. My bad. Um, Sacred Flame is 45. Range attack is 55. Let's do a piercing shot. Five damage, but they saved against it. Um, wow, she's not looking so good. We're going to have to do like a healing word. Or cure wounds would be better, I think. And, um, I don't want to use, I guess, healing word. I'm so used to it being a cantrip. Just shove them. Just, just shove them every time. It's fine. And then run away. <laughs> um, so hold on. How much movement do we have? Not a lot. We might be able to make this happen. Over here, and then we're gonna try a cutting action hide. Sneak attack. Solid, that worked out well. And then true to a rogue, we, we loot the body. There's nothing in there. Firebolt. Critical hit, nice. Ow! Shocking grasp? No fair. Um. 60% with the sacred flame. Let's do it. Nice. Let's see what we got here. Leather gloves? Um, I mean, could be good for someone. Send those to Tav for now. Tav, uh... I guess I am Tav right now? Tav really needs a weapon. A great club. Proficiency with this weapon unlocks something. Main hand only. Tenacity, when you miss an attack, you deal two bludgeoning damage anyway. Oh, that seems really nice. Okay, let's, um, let's use a great club. For now means we can't have a studded shield. Tongs. 
I don't know why I don't know why I took the tongs to be honest I like how if you like zoom right up it becomes just a battle map like this is this is actually like foundry ready you could definitely throw this in foundry and it would work out quarterstaff and it is versatile so you can use it one-handed or two-handed how do i rotate the camera oh i'm struggling it's it's not okay right now um yeah let me give me a second here okay it turns out i was in tactical mode so you can you can press o to to get out of that and it, just on the off chance you you find yourself in that mode and don't know what to do so let's do a short rest wow i love how quick that is it's just like instantaneous So loot the place. Ancient scroll. We'll send that to um Asterion? No, Gale. See if you can read that. I guess we'll do I should be doing tab. Read. I want to be Gale. Read as Gale. Though a bloom of mold has leached the ink from most of this scroll, its beginning is still legible. The sealing ritual. Our god cares not for petty ritual. There is only the sealing, and it is vital that we observe it with exacting reverence. On the day of the sealing, a mixture of bone and ash is consecrated. Upon the names of the dead, we spread the offering, imbuing the ink with the essence of death of our god. Yeah, very funny by the way i'm pretty sure everyone has um dark vision in our uh in my party so i'm pretty sure this is where we would have dropped in um had i come in that into that hole Got some candles. The candles are there for the uh, troglodyte non-dark sightseeing. Scruffy vagabond clothes, rags, rags, rags. Elfin work wood shoes. Oh, speaking of which, um, Tav should really put some gloves on. And some boots. I don't know, some nicer boots, I guess. Can't give him a short sword, can't give him a scimitar. He's really not proficient with much. I'm hoping we can get a great axe for him. That's one of the main reasons I take a uh, dwarf is because they get that great axe proficiency. Simple toxin, that's quite nice. Alchemist fire, that's also nice. What can we do with this? Coat your active weapon with toxin that deals an additional 1d4 damage. How long does that last? Single use bonus action. Well, it, it opens... Oh. Lockpicking impossible, huh? Well, what if we did this? I guess not. Sometimes you just cannot open a door. Lots of stuff in here. Eyewitness accounts of the Bell Spawn Crisis. You you look through all of these, by the way, if you want to find some scrolls for your your wizard. Someone wrote all of this. 
or you know many people wrote all of this and I'm just like flipping through it death and divinity no scrolls even ink plot ink pot fine dust coats the pages of this weathered book beneath the bone white powder hundreds of short obituaries are recorded in tiny script grobian tipple drowning Ivian arkinson internal rot Devon Stout Fever Plaque. This text is ancient. A dedication to a forgotten god. Mm, what's that? That is a leather. Did that do? I'm assuming it opened that door. Yeah, it did it did open that door. I love I love this beginning dungeon because it is just so I don't know typical. It's exactly what you want, you know. Sometimes you just want to skulk around in a, a dank dungeon, a dank spooky dungeon. Oh, I didn't. I didn't realize it was literally going to say dank crypt. But I'm not disappointed. I didn't mean to take that jug and I don't want it. This place wasn't built for the living. Oh yeah. I guess that is typical of a of a crypt, you know. Typically generally speaking, crypts are not built for the living. Heavy oak door. Can we open that? Um, lockpick. We got tons of pluses on this. Asterion is a very good lockpicker. Uh, I remember that area. It's, um... Well, I'll let the area speak for itself. Entomb scribe. Despite the weapons. Scroll of burning hands. As students of the arcane arts, wizards can learn new spells by studying certain spell scrolls instead of using them. Can we do this whenever? Spell book. Oh, that's that's Asterion. I meant to give this to um, Gale. I love the the whispering is so good. Learn Burning Hands. We've learned Burning Hands. We can take something off. Let's turn, take off Witch Bolt and put on Burning Hands. Um, I do want to keep Witch Bolt, actually. So we're going to take off Thunder Wave. Witch Bolt is such a good nuke. I can't not take it. Order staff cannot be what? Unequipped? 
pretty sure there's a fun gimmick with this um this room i promise after after this dungeon i i, I know nothing just going to i'm just going to go around don't worry about me i'm just picking up weapons don't worry about it Heavy key, dagger, gold. All right. Now let's check out. Wow, everyone's failed their religion check. The inscription is in a language unknown to you. Oh, yeah. If it protects you so much, why didn't you learn the statue thing? Ah, uh, who could have seen that coming? But now I'm pretty sure the I'm pretty sure they don't have weapons now. <laughs> Did I miss? I missed with advantage. Uh, I don't think I can go around, so hiding is going to be tricky. Hiding successful, incredible. And we're going to do a sneak attack here. Um, joined battle. joined battle but still that was pretty incredible we managed to take someone out like we 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 succeeded like 15 different <laughs> hiding checks that was that was amazing nice well actually could have been better um i'm gonna go ahead and oh we should have uh, turned undead huh I'll turn undead on, on my next turn. <laughs> okay, we can do um, a dash. For it's a, We have a freebie dash. I don't think we're still hiding. No, we're not hiding for sure. Did I use my action? I thought I could do that for free. Yeah, it's a bonus action. So I'm not sure why we don't have actions. I uh, can't switch to my bow, so I'm just going to leave it at that. Uh, how come we don't have an action with uh, Gale? I'm a little confused on that one as well. Probably is because, like, we're still joining the battle. Okay, well, uh, we'll just end it here. And we still don't have an action. It's okay. <laughs> the skeleton was borderline doing a Naruto run. That was incredible. So it seems to me that um, they don't need weapons. They're all sorcerers. An ally is within melee distance of an enemy, allowing you to sneak attack it for more damage. Do I have sneak attack?
this will only turn this one dude so i'm not gonna do that we'll do a concussive smash tav attacked entombed warrior choose how to react when you miss an attack deal two damage anyway and that deals four damage because they think they are uh, weak to bludgeoning <laughs> It'll never not be funny uh, Unfortunately, we're too far away to do anything cool. So we're just gonna try a hamstring shot 85% reduced movement ray of frost We can't do a offhand attack unfortunately However, we can do a dash should make use of our resources while we can, right? Uh, geez, this, this guy is really tanky. He's a level three, that's why. Uh, maybe we should actually use some tough stuff on them. That's a, not a great... Um... Oh, this will do some damage, but I need to, like, aim it a little bit. It's a 3d6 damage. They did save, so they took half damage. Shoot. So I'm pretty sure I can't cast a spell because, I'm yeah, I'm silenced. We can in evoke duplicity. Also, it's a silence like bubble. Let's just try and kill this one dude here. We'll try something sneaky on the on the next turn. Ouch. Well, three damage isn't the worst. Ow. Okay, that's bad. I love the uh, visual of the of some of the spells are really cool. Um. Inflict wounds is... I should try and heal this guy. Can't target undead. So this game also didn't go for the... You can heal an undead to, to damage them. Um, let's do a inflict wounds then. We missed. There's nothing, nothing feels worse than missing with a level one spell. It's, it's one of the, the least fun things ever. Um, I wish I had some heal, I should have shared some healing potions amongst the crowd, you know? Actually, let's not, shoot. Everyone's too far away, I can't, I can't do a, um, a sneak attack. Also, we are, our, our movement is reduced, you know, that's why. So let's just do uh, an attack. We can't do an offhand attack because we're out of bonus actions. Um, we'll try a Witch Bolt on this guy. There we go. Situational actions. You have unlocked an action as a result of another ability feature or condition. It will remain at the side of your bar hotbar until those conditions expire. Um, that's the witch, witch bolt. Um, guidance. Blessing of the trickster. Grant another creature advantage on stealth checks. Distract your enemies with an illusion. Attack rolls have advantage for you and your allies. I want to do something here. You know what? We should heal. Um, we should we should heal uh, uh, Asterian. It's only four points, but it's something. We'll do a guiding bolt on this guy. Blamo! Did that kill them? It did kill them. Ouch. Nice. Okay, uh, help. Help 
up, down, characters removed, burning, and snared, entangled. Okay, no, wait. I was wondering if we could, like, assist Gale in some way. Uh, this guy's got some health left on him. Restores your allies. I mean, that is really good, but I don't... It's only 9 meters, so no one that needs it is going to be within range. I mean, honestly... Tav and Gale could use use a heal. So let's do that actually. And um that's actually gonna work for me. Tav didn't or sorry, um Asterian didn't really get to do anything cool. That's fine. We'll run. Maybe, maybe he'll get to do something. Who knows? I kind of hope not, because I want to put an end to this with the witch, witch bolt. I love the execution. So I've already looted those bodies. Absolutely no point in doing that again. I'm not sure why I'm even heading over there. But um, yeah, there you have it. Let's uh, check out some of the goodies. Amulet. Amulet of Lost Voices. Speak with dead. Level 3 necromancy. Or necromancy, I suppose. Makes more sense. Um, we'll send... I'm just going to pick that up. Actually, yeah, let's... Oops. Didn't mean to do that at all. What did I just do? Did I accidentally send it to the camp? Uh... I kind of need that right away. <laughs> I wonder if there's an autosave. There is, but it's too long ago. My god, these autosaves are not not well paced if the game crashed it would have been like game over um well it's not gone i just need to figure out we'll probably do another long rest and then i can grab it from the camp so i'll just search these vases or vases and um open this I love this guy's, like, head thing. It's like jewelry, but it's like perfectly sculpted to his head is really cool. So he has spoken, and so thou standest before me. Right, as always. What a curious way to awaken. Now, I have a question for thee. What is the worth of a single mortal's life? Quite the question. What's the reason for it? Curiosity. Nothing more. Wilt thou answer my question? Uh... Attack. Yes. So, I ask again. What is the worth of a single mortal? That depends on a person's deeds. No one's life is worth more than any other. We are all equal. Life's only value is as currency. It doesn't matter to me otherwise. Each life is of infinite value and merits sacrificing everything for. Depends on the mortal. Uh, I feel like an depending on how I answer this is going to paint <laughs> me in a certain light. Um... I definitely think it depends on a person's deeds, at least uh, in our world. I'm sure thou believest as such. 
Very well. I am satisfied. We have met, and I know my face. We will see each other again at the proper time and place. Farewell. I, I honestly love Withers. He's, he's such a cool idea. Very well. We have nothing more to discuss. Continue on my way. As if I were not here. <laughs> I must attend this place after so many years away. We will see each other again. Soon. Soon is rather vague. When exactly? When the time is proper. I do not know that hour any more than dost thou. But I do know that the longer thou standest, <laughs> the farther away our second meeting becomes. I love I love everything about Withers. Yeah, just the idea of like a a cool undead dude. Can you imagine attacking Withers? I don't want to meet anyone that would do that. He just seems like, you know, the nicest chap. Uh, outside of being, you know, undead, but I don't judge. Where are we? We're all the way up here. Um, we could do another short rest. We probably should. What was that? Dirt mound. Does someone, uh, huh, Asterian, or sorry, Shadowheart still has a shovel? Too tight. I'll need a shovel? You have a shovel. Oh no, that's a mace. I thought it was a shovel this whole time. It looks so much like a shovel when it's like a very small icon. <laughs> Don't be weird. I think the Great Club is better. We don't have we don't have a shovel. We need a shovel. Swift as my feet can carry me. Um, well, let's put a marker here. Uh, firm dirt. Okay. So, um, oh, we're we're gonna go over here. My bad. We actually didn't need to go back there. We can go up here, though. I quite like this area. It's, you know, it's pleasant, but not without its dangers. Uh, Demes. Nemesa. Oh, there she is. Wow. That's quite the judgment from a tiefling. Uh, if you value your life, walk away. Nice. Uh, I, I don't mind doing an intimidation if it doesn't, if it means not fighting. Come, Now. Enough gawking. Get 
hunts me down. I've never met some such judgmental tieflings before. Oh, Saint, please. I can't resist. I'm sorry. Never. <laughs> never. <laughs> never. Oh, come on. Questionable intellect. Unsurprising. Release me, or enjoy a future as Geich. What does Geich mean? Mind players. The atrocities we are becoming. Becoming? There's no hope for us, is there? I know a remedy. Release me and I will share it. I don't believe you, but I was going to release you anyway. Get me down. You don't have to be so rude about it. God damn. Um, use a ranged weapon. Oh, no. How does one even get you down? I was going to shoot you down. Oh, I see. Here we go. What exactly is a crush? It is many things. A hatchery, a training grounds, a shelter. Githyanki protocol is clear. When infected with a gaith tadpole, we must report to Augusto for purification. But you already had a cure with you right here. A pity that. I made an offer and you accepted. Your fantasy is not my burden. Simple thank you wouldn't go amiss. You may as well suggest a wise man bow to worms. The cure I offer will suffice as thanks. I suppose that's fair. All right, we journey together. Let's find this crush. You are full up. Dismiss your weakest warrior. <laughs> oh my god. We wait at my camp. We can speak there. She's like a uh, full-on Klingon. Okay, um, so I guess at this point I will have to choose someone, unfortunately, to uh, dismiss. Kind of really like Asterion. Um, I kind of I like having a wizard, but I think I'd prefer to dismiss Gale. Uh, I like having two clerics. It's nice for now. I'm, it's not forever, but. Uh, Let's let's go ahead. Go to camp. Um ungroup. Forget Yankee joining our company. Not a collaboration I'd have anticipated, but a welcome one nonetheless. Uh this is going to suck every time. I I'm so like it it uh, you know I can only have three. I question the wisdom of that decision, but so be it. I'll be here in the meantime, idling away the hours. Don't make me feel worse about it. I like genuinely feel bad about telling NPCs I don't want to travel with them. It sucks. All right. I I made a promise and I'm sticking to it. You look so unusual, Githyank Githyanki are rare in these parts. I'd like you to join me. It is done. And she levels up. What kind of class is Lazel? A level? She's a fighter. Fighter's good to have. She's only level two. Action surge. Oh, I might have to level her up multiple times, actually. No, she's just level two. I guess that makes sense. I thought our group was level three for some reason. 
So let me go and get my speak to undead talisman. Oh, look at all this stuff. Chatterbox is tabard. What is this? Peculiar clothing chest. Drake general die. Mask of the shapeshifter. What is all this stuff? Did is this all like deluxe stuff? I mean, I'm not complaining. It's just I, I wasn't expecting it. Okay, we're gonna get we're gonna speak to the undead. Okay, um, let's do a long rest. Um, now nah, we'll just do a short rest. I guess I I didn't realize I could go to the camp without doing a long rest. I'm also gonna save the game. Um, did not realize how, like, not great the auto saves are. Okay, uh, and let's leave the camp. Sorry, I keep hitting that button. Alright, we're, we're a group again. I have Shadow. Actually, we should have Lazel uh, lead. She's got the most health. She's, she's our resident tank now. Can't believe I actually missed her um, the first time I rolled through here. By the way, we're, there, outside of like maybe one combat coming up, I, I we're just about done with the with the content that I know of. Oh yeah. Well, not open the gate now you'd think that when they see that they'd be like oh no actually keep the gate closed though for real ow i'm like i would a hundred percent not try and go for that like that's how you lose an arm Ooh. Damnable roach. Provoke the blade and suffer its sting. Is that the druid? Um, we close enough that we could like. Is this a bonus action? It is a bonus action. We can't jump with for free. I'm so close to being able to maybe hit this guy. Uh, can we do a sneak attack? Nope. We're just, just barely not in range. Um, well, that kind of bums me out. But I guess we have advantage, so it'd still be worth doing a shot. We have a better chance on this guy. If we kill them instantly, I'm pretty sure we still get to stay hidden. Are we... in sneak mode? It's hard to tell sometimes. Lost condition hiding. Okay, so by attacking, I lost a hiding. Okay. We got bugbears. I love bugbears. Arms of Hadar. Range attack on Asterion. Oops. Ouch. Ouch. M more than one attack? Okay, um... 
a scroll of detect thoughts i'm just gonna go ahead and sacred flame or firebolt no sacred flame is actually better nice this guy is almost dead and he missed not looking good for him Ooh. <laughs> Everyone rally misses a shot. Yeah, um, height actually does make a pretty massive difference. So let's see what we got. We got, I mean, we know what she's got. She's got some good stuff. Second wind. It's all good. Uh, 65% chance to knock this guy off. Actually, um, oh, I got a great idea. Okay, we're gonna do this. The first time shove is actually gonna, like, never mind. They're just dead. I, I don't mind. We're gonna jump. We'll lose two health, but it's badass. Look at that. Whoa! I mean, whether or not she's got a toot or not, she's going to be pretty, pretty badass in combat. She just took nine damage. Are they all going for her? Ooh, they greased me. Did we just lose our action to uh, get up? We still have one um, double movement cost, difficult terrain. Can we do like a jump? No, we can't jump in this. Not enough movement. We don't have enough movement. I guess it costs some movement to, to stand up. We could do a ranged attack though. No, we couldn't. Wow. What about a no no not that either okay well we'll have to well, we're gonna hit this gobbo dude here nice that we rolled really well on that um jump is a bonus action so if i do a jump i can't hide but i don't think i have a hide option here either so we're just gonna we're just gonna like shoot 75% chance or we could just like shoot I'd rather take the 75% chance we can also oh we can sneak attack ranged perfect I think that did do some damage latest you sneak attack on warg no I missed it never mind Shoot. Go, dude. Bugbears are tough. I love I love everything about bugbears. They're just so cool. I don't know, there's something about them like, you know, they're like kind of weird elves. Like elf orcs. They're to me like what um I feel like they're they're in a way like a the better version of orcs in some ways. There's something just really neat about them. Don't get me wrong, orcs are cool too, but... I don't know, there's something like very classic fantasy about a, a bugbear. I'm gonna... can we do an invoke duplicity? On this warg? No, we don't have enough space. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, I guess it has to we have to cast it near something. We're just gonna do a firebolt Two damage hardly seems worth it Nice Nice good good stuff Very good <laughs> All right, so Lazel um, can do a rush attack, charge forward, and attack the first enemy in your way, possibly pushing them off balance. Um, pommel strike, lacerate is probably our, our go-to. What is this? Astral knowledge, gain proficiency in all skills of a chosen ability. 
I already looked at that last time. Okay, 70% chance on last raid. That's really good. Yeah. Uh, and a pommel strike, too. Gah. And we dazed them. Nice. Fantastic. Critical miss. We still have that uh, gook on the ground. We gotta be careful on it. Can we do a piercing shot? Disadvantage. There's weird things going on right now. We can sort of maybe hit the warg. Let's go for it. We missed. Uh, I mean, it, it makes sense. So now uh, we can do another sneak attack ranged. Let's let's do it on the bugbear because the warg. There's plenty of things left before the warg takes their turn. Nice, we got a kill on the bugbear. Ouch. Ouch. Poor dude. Uh, we should be able to kill the warg. Nope. Come on, dude. Alright, warg is dead. This is good. They're like throwing healing rocks, which is fun. Goblin boss. Smacko. Um, we'll do a sacred flame on the goblin bus. I'm still in this grease. My goodness, that grease was super effective. All right, we'll do a piercing shot. Double. I thought I could do it at disadvantage because it's too far. I guess not. Okay, well, um, then I guess I'll do a dash. Sneak attack. This is like the perfect spot for Asterion. Must have... Can't have disadvantage. Oh, is it... Are they too far away? Nice. Good stuff. We might as well hide. Yay. That was the last of them. Inside, all of you, more may follow. Open the gate. No one left behind. Lazel is inspired. They've got a point of inspiration. I like how you can be not proficient with a goblin scimitar. You would think that they don't use anything particularly special. I was just wondering if this morning star wouldn't be better. I think it's pretty much the same, except it's piercing instead of bludgeoning. Worth taking, you know, some things are weak against that. Uh, gloves of power possibly inflicted 1d4 penalty to the target's attack rolls and saving throws very nice very very good oh wait a minute wait a minute goblin tracker that that counts as stealing you don't want to steal uh it, it immediately pisses them off even though it doesn't make sense like it's you know it's not really stealing is it Okay, well, we are going to enter this um, camp, but we are going to do that on the next episode. If you are enjoying this series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.